Hey, hello guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sagar Sajapati and in this video, I will be talking about interview questions of Python. So, this is the first video which where I am delivering or solving one question which has been asked in the recent interview. And moving forward, I will be adding more questions on this, this playlist which is completely on Python interview question. So if you are new to this channel, you can subscribe to my channel and share with your friends so that everybody will get benefited. And here you can find out my tutorials on Azure Databricks, PySpark, SQL, Python and ADF as well. Okay. And here I have created video on my SQL, SQL playlist, interview questions, interview mock interview and so on so okay so if you like my videos you can share with your friends and subscribe to my channel so let's get started with the today's video so okay this is my visual studio and i have created one file called add.num.py so here okay so now let me go back now let me go back to my notepad here you can see we have one list given. Let's say one, two, three, four, minus one, minus two, zero. Okay. Now our ask is to find out, find out whether, find out whether this list, like the the sum of any two number in this list is zero or not. If it is zero, then return to otherwise false. Okay. So if you can see here, we have this one and we have this one. So the sum of this one and this one will be zero. Okay, so we return two. Let's say we have this two, okay, and we have this minus two. So this, the sum of these two number would be zero, right? So we return, we return two. For an example, we have another list called uh, let's say one two three and four and if like if i want to give the answer of this then the answer would be false because the sum of two number will not be zero will not be zero right okay so now the condition of of uh, of having uh, of having zero the sum of the sum of two number is zero is when whenever we have the same number with the opposite sign so see 2 minus 2 would be 0 1 minus 1 would be 0 now 2 minus 3 would be minus 1 only 4 minus 6 would be minus 2 so we get we will get 0 whenever we have the same number will have the same number with the with the different value let's say 2 minus 2 or 2 like uh, uh, 3 3 minus 3 okay so in this case in the first example you can see we have this one and the we have this minus one so that's why our return our answer would be 2 so now let me just remove everything from here okay so what I will do here what I will do here mm, what I will do here first I will I will convert I will convert this list into into a set okay so let's say this is L1 L1 okay let's say for an example now what I will do I will create I will start one uh, one loop and here I will pass L1 not L1 L okay and what I will do I will check if minus I in this L1 or not if it is I will return 2 otherwise we will return false okay now if you can see like okay we will do a dry run now so the first value now the first value now the first value is one okay so 
now first value is 1 and it will check it will check in this step it will check whether minus 1 in L1 or not you can see we have minus 1 present in this so it will return 2 okay for this case suppose we have list this and if we, if we are iterating uh, if we are iterating in this loop in this first uh, loop then first value would be 1 and it will check whether minus 1 is present in L1 is L1 or not so is not present okay now 2 will come right now 2 will come it will check it is not present 3 will come likewise 4 will come and nothing is present so it will return our answer as false okay so now let me write down the code in the in the visual studio so let's say we have we have 1 comma 2 comma 3 comma 4 comma 5 minus 1 minus 2 2 5 4 now i am creating one function let's say add underscore num and here i am passing one list and here what i will do i will first check whether len of this l is greater than is less than 2 if it is less than 2 it means this will never be 0 i mean the sum of two number will never be 0 because the number number itself is uh, number itself is not 2 we have only one number so single number cannot be 0 the sum of a uh, single number cannot be 0 okay so that's why i will write here false now i will start one loop for i in uh, l1 not l1 it's l okay and before going to that what would i do i will short i will write l1 is equal to set of l here I will check if minus i minus i in L1 or not. Okay. If it is, then what would I do? I will return two. Nothing else will do. And if it is not matching in any case, will return false. Now let me print and let me call this function add underscore num and i will pass here the list and let me copy this and paste it over here now if i do run we'll see the output our output is 2 you can see okay now let me change now let me change this list a bit now our output should be false you can see this is false okay now i will give only one number here let me run it it is also false okay and yeah that's it this is the uh, one of the question which has been asked recently in one of the interview and i hope you have understood the concept of set set is to remove the duplicate and list you know and like whenever you write the function in the in the you know in the python i mean whenever you are solving any problem you should write your code inside one function okay and this is just simply return to and like i use this if and if condition so that's it for today's video i hope you understood this concept and you those questions and if you do do subscribe and share and yeah thank you